Was it just a ride or de facto deportation? As some Texas officials decry what they see as a lack of federal help in the face of what they call an invasion of undocumented immigrants, one sheriff appeared to take matters into his own hands. Garrett Berger tells us about the ride back to the border. One South Texas sheriff says he offered some migrants. We had four other individuals in the vehicle. Following a crash last week, Kinney County Sheriff Brad Coe said federal authorities wouldn't take four uninjured people into custody without them getting medically cleared first. But the sheriff didn't want to take up deputies' time waiting at the hospital, so Coe says he offered the four a ride to where they could get home, quote, safely and securely. We transported four back to, back to the port of entry in, in Mexico so they could return home. There was no formal deportation. It's just we put them in the truck and took them home. Several media outlets have picked up the story since it happened last week. And the sheriff said Tuesday he'll do it again if he has to. But was it legal? That, that sounds to me like he drove him to the port of entry and dropped them off and said, that's where you got to go, and that being Mexico. That sounds to me like he forcefully made them leave the country. To San Antonio immigration attorney Lance Curtright, seems the sheriff exceeded his authority. Only the federal government can deport. The state of Texas has no business and no, lawf no lawful authority to do that. And that's well-settled law. Erica Schomer, a clinical professor of law at St. Mary's Law School, says if someone asked for a ride home, the sheriff could do that. But it would be problematic to do it in his official capacity. And she says the real question is the perspective of those four people. If they believed they were not free to go, then that's a problem. Because, again, the sheriff only has authority to arrest or detain an individual if it is to enforce a state or local law. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.